Hi Scorpio, welcome to July 2022 Love and General Reading. I'm just doing what I call the messy shuffle. So I take the whole deck, this is the Lightseer's Tarot, and um, I kind of throw them around on the table, smush them about and do a really big kind of shuffle. And this has thrown up some really weird cards for you actually. So this is for you Scorpio, let's just lay your cards out. If you are Scorpio, Sun, Moon or Rising, and this is, oh yes, that guy. Um, this is also for you, Scorpio, if you're cross-watching or just passing by, okay? There will be a message in here for you somewhere. Wow, some of your cards just came out in one go. And there's a lot going on here. Okay, one more energy. Ooh, I don't think anyone else has had that one actually. Okay, Scorpio, Scorpio, Scorpio. Your overall energy card, and it is a really powerful energy card, and as yet I don't know why, but it is, is the Magician. This can represent Aquarius energy for just a few of you. It's not like the main thing of this card. It's just like a side issue. Um, that's something I have as a reader that I kind of noticed that this card popped up a lot when there was Aquarius energy being talked about. Somebody is either around you at the moment or will be around you soon who is quite instrumental in your life. Next to this card, well, I'll show you the cards actually. Let's flip the camera and have a look. Okay. Just want to get this guy in over here. We'll come back to him because he's like an overall energy card as well, the Knight of Cups, very nice. And the one that's underneath the box, I'll pull that out so we can have a look. This guy, King of Swords, again, could be air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, but I feel like he is connected to the Magician card. This is a person who is important, instrumental, influential, and is going to say something, or there's going to be a conversation, or there already sort of half has been a conversation, or you're on the fringes of knowing this person, or there's some kind of... There's a connection between you and this person, and what I'm getting, the image that I'm getting in my mind, is of these power lines at the top, a bit like old-fashioned phone and communication lines, and that they're frayed, or that they're broken. I'm getting something about these birds, um, these... I mean, there's an owl at the bottom. I'm terrible at identifying birds. But the birds do represent communication, messages back and forth. Something about the message system with this person is broken. You may have even had, like, difficulties <laughs> with messages going missing, getting eaten, you know, your phone breaking, their phone breaking. Something about your communication with this person has been really challenging. And probably as you come into this reading, continues to be challenging. Let's take one card for you, actually, as a signifier to see how you're coming into this reading. If this resonates, by the way, there will be an extended reading as normal, and that will be in the link in the description box if you want to access that. That is how do they feel about you. It's like a love reading, digging deeper about your person, channeled messages, all of that. Oof, how you're coming in, Five of Cups, yeah. You're coming in as the Five of Cups. Five of Cups energy. Somebody is considering whether to bury this, whether to move on, whether they even can. 
You know, we often overestimate, or I think a lot of people overestimate um, connection and love and what it feels like and what it feels like to be in the kind of geography of that relationship. And they just say, well, you know, you should move on from that or you should you know, forget this or forget that. But when you're in it, it's a completely different experience. And at the moment, Scorpio, what I feel like is that you're in it, that you're in this experience, that you're in this world with this King of Swords, magician style person who has a lot of intellect. There's a lot of intellect. There's a lot of thought on both your parts, a very, I suppose, clever intellectual connection might be quite a wordy connection between you and this person, but definitely a magical connection. Oh God, wrong, ca wrong camera. Magical connection between you and this person. It's almost like spell casting what I'm getting here. This is a magician after all. And I've never thought that. Obviously, when you look at like the Rider Waite cards and you've got the magician there and you think to yourself, yeah, you know, there he is with all his gig on the table and he's doing his stuff and it's a bit like, look into my eyes, look into my eyes and how many cups do you see and all that sort of stuff. But I've never really copped it with this card where I've thought to myself that this person in the Lightseer's Tarot is casting. And the word that I get for you is casting and I never use that word. So it's important. There's a sense of casting to you, casting around you, a magic, okay? I do like the energy of this. It's very, very powerful. I think there is a potential here for you I think there's some things to sort out with it, okay? There's definitely some things to sort out with it because I see I'm very drawn to these two cards. I'm very drawn to this King of Swords. I'm very drawn to this magician. And then we've got the body of the reading. And in the body of the reading, I'm noticing that there are cards of lament, that there are cards of difficulty, and there are cards of thinking and solitude and working things out. We've got the Eight of Swords here. Again, another air sign card, but more importantly, a card of restriction to your freedom of thought and thinking, and how am I gonna move forward with this, and who am I, and what's going on? Eights in tarot are naturally cards of movement. And the Eight of Swords, because it's the intellectual, it's swords, should be a kind of freedom of movement for your thoughts, you know, how you're thinking but it feels like there is some kind of restriction a bit on your thinking. There are things that are needing to be resolved, that needed to be processed, that need to be got through. And there's also a bit of a battle going on between your heart and your head, Scorpio, this month. We have the Five of Cups and we also have the Eight of Cups and the Three of Cups. So we've got all this cups energy, there's all this emotion down here. If we look here, these two are very connected. In the five of cups, the person is contemplating burying something, grieving for something, the loss of something. In the eight of cups, they kind of, and I've never seen this card this way either. We've got the dawn breaking, we've got the sun coming over the horizon, and we've got the person getting up and walking forwards and it feels like they relight the fire because they do. Before then, in the Five of Cups, they contemplate burying it all together and extinguishing it. And I think that both of these thoughts will come to you in this month. And that's a lot. It's a lot of cup energy. It's a lot of cup energy for Scorpio to manage because there's a lot of deep emotion around this. There's a lot of charge around it. And then if you look up here, the Ten of Swords. And when we find the Ten of Swords in a reading, there is always entanglements and patterns and what's gone on between us and 
a feeling of, I mean, I like it actually, because when you get the 10 of swords, you've sort of moved beyond the eight of swords, which is this feeling of restriction. And you move to the nine of swords, which is a feeling of kind of entanglement. And then you move to this 10 of swords, which is a feeling of freedom. You know, you're actually at a point where it's too painful to stay the same. And you say to yourself, I need to release this, this burden, this hurt, this feeling, I need to let this go. And then you do. And I love that. I love that energy for you. It's fantastic. Okay. So I feel like this is to do with this connection with the King of Swords, the Magician. There may have been a break in the connection because I can just see this like old school and this is so old school and I don't even know if it's like scientifically accurate probably not because you know my science is awful but I just see you know like when your cables used to have um one of mine still does like a fabric around them I just and then the cat chews them or something like that I just see this frayed fabric of a cable so the line is still there the line of communication is still there but it has this frayed fabric there's been something's chewed at it and I feel metaphorically something has chewed away we've got the three of cups over here I'm just going to take another card for the three of cups because normally the three of cups is like your friendship group but I'm not getting that kind of message about it entirely what do we need to know please about the three of cups the chariot okay I'm gonna take another card to go with that too Cancerian energy with the chariot yeah stay or bust okay so we have the chariot and the four of Pentacles here for the three of cups some of you this might be in your tribe in the people you can trust you and the rest of your life too not just your tribe but everybody your close personal relationship with this person but also your close connections with others particularly anyone associated with them there's a sense here with the chariot of going in one direction or the other and there's a sense of retention with the four of pentacles about doing nothing and staying the same and keeping your mouth shut and not upsetting the chariot and not upsetting the boat I would say that in this particular situation, if you're asking for advice or if you're spending time around people, make sure that these people are just the chosen ones, you know, the real close flock. Um, there may be a desire, a temptation or an opportunity to talk to somebody who knows this person especially if you're keen to get information about them or something like that, there may be that opportunity to do that. If you don't know this person that well, I don't know if you can trust them to talk about it. And Scorpios are very tuned into that. That's your very Scorpionic skill set, is that you know who to trust and you're very good at keeping your mouth shut when you need to. This might be the time for that. And I don't mean that you can't have a conversation with this person. I just mean talking about this person to somebody else or a group of people or on the internet or on social media or something like that might tangle this web and might just cause some volatility in the journey that you don't need. There's already been some kind of wobble or volatility or something with this but you don't need to let anybody else get stuck in. Do you know what I mean? That's not worth it. Having said that, we've got the Hierophant and we've got the Hierophant next to the Six of Pentacles. Now I like this a lot. We also have underneath here, the Five of Pentacles. Very important card. Let's start with the Five. So with the Five, there is something about this situation that has you shut out. Notice that you're shut out of a locked door to which you do have the key, but you're not picking the key up and using it, okay? And probably you've got your reasons for that. 
For some reason, you've been cast adrift here. You've been a bit out in the cold. You've been a bit feeling alienated is what I get, Scorpio. I'm very glad that this moves from the five to the six of pentacles, where there's a feeling of generosity. There's an experience of someone paying in, paying back, contributing, giving back to you and you receiving. I like that a lot. Here we have the Hierophant and the Hierophant is, it can be church, it can be, because um, it's also the high priest, it can be an organisation, it can be yoga, it can be tarot, it could be a person, a guru, a guru online or a guru that you know or a wise teacher. Somebody has got something good to say and some very sage advice. And that person needs to be carefully chosen. And again, it doesn't have to be somebody that you know face to face. It can be somebody online who you think, my God, you know, I've read their stuff and it's really good. It's really influenced. It's really speaking to me. Because the situation that you're in with the King of Swords and the Magician just has such a lot of mystery around it that I can see how you would spend a lot of time trying to work it out, especially as a Scorpio, and especially if there's been absence from this person or a fraying of that line of communication. So this is a new practice, some more information, um, something of following something, somebody's advice that you find kind of illuminating, that it gets you somewhere and you can receive it. And it takes you out of this kind of quandary where you know you could unlock the door and go in, but you know that you're not going to just yet because it just isn't quite right, okay? Over here, we have the Four of Swords, looking for peace, looking for comfort, looking for a place to rest your heart, a place that you can trust to hold it as well, a person and a place that you can trust to hold it. Now, what I'm very interested in here, the overall energy card that came up with the magician is the Knight of Cups. And this is about a person that you can trust to hold your heart. And this is the main question of your entire reading. And it's a question that's tied you up in knots. And it's a question that brings you to the reading in this energy. The energy of questioning, the energy of contemplating, the energy of, do I move on from this? Do I stick with this? Do I invest in this? Am I being authentic to myself? Do I bury this? Do I keep it going? There are two of you in this scenario. And I do feel with this Knight of Cups card that when the magician is acting as the Knight of Cups, that there is a feeling of presenting something, coming through with something. This, the guru here with the advice could also be the magician, the actual person that you know and not a different person. They are a very intelligent person. They seem to know a lot about you in terms of spiritually where you're coming from. There seems to be a huge connection. The Knight of Cups also, if you see here, he's got some decent flowers, you know? He's not got the garage flowers that smell of cat pee. He's got the decent bunch. He's been out, he's got, he's well put together. His outfit looks nice, you know? He's got a decent horse, picnic blanket, a letter with a wax seal. I mean, what more do we want? He's really well put together. He's putting something in front of you that's coordinated at last. This is something that might have been lacking, but I feel that what's happened and what's happening to you in July is this Nine of Pentacles. And the Nine of Pentacles is finding a sense of independence, which maybe you didn't have before in such a strong sense. And I feel that that is very much appreciated and admired, but almost from afar by this King of Swords and Magician person. Now, either if you're not at the moment particularly connected with this person in the day-to-day, face-to-face, 
they might be watching your social media or it might just be almost telepathic. I feel like this person can sense your moods and sense your movements almost and what you're doing and whether you're in this kind of restricted mode or in this freedom mode. So it feels like they get a sense for it and they also get a sense for what is needed, what is needed to be offered and the style in which it's needed to be um, executed, you know, the style in which it's needed to be given. In the extended reading, I am going to look very deeply into the King of Swords and the Magician, the Knight of Cups, the Five of Cups and the Eight of Cups to see if we can channel some messages from your person and also if we can see what's going on beneath the surface, okay, for you. I'm just taking some Oracle cards for you. Wisdom of the Oracle, Colette Baron Reed. Let's have a look you see at these. In the middle here, you get to the sea. It's a very scorpionic card, but it's also a card that's telling you that things at the moment may be um, tricky, certainly, chaotic a little bit. Got that kind of energy of going with the flow. And I don't just mean let anything happen. I mean going with the natural flow of events. And then we have the tribe, and this is about your Three of Cups and how important it's going to become to know who you can trust. And it's not always who you think, okay? In both directions as well. And then very importantly, lastly, we find peace. Peace in the whole situation, that's that Four of Swords. Finding the pocket for your heart where it can be safely held, okay? This is going to become more important as the month goes on and you will see that and things will come up that will directly speak to that, okay? Including a rather strange um, communication, I think, from this King of Swords. I'm gonna have a look at that as well in the extended about the style of communication and what's coming in, okay? Wow, Scorpio. Okay, I'm going to go do that now. Um, thank you for being here. Do like, share and subscribe and I'll see you on the other side. Namaste.